Why we haven't given a date? We can tell from the Leti's morphology that it comes from deep time. It comes from the root of the genus Homo. And if our present understanding of the age of that origins is correct based on fragmentary fossils, then the species Naledi must be older than two and a half to 2.8 million years. The species. What Naledi says is there is no substitute for exploration. There is no substitute for human beings using technology to go out into their own backyards and make discoveries. Um, is this Homo erectus? Absolutely not. It could not be Homo erectus. Not only, uh, it has some superficial shape similarities, and that's why we placed it within the genus Homo, but uh, that's about where it stops, because one of the great things we have here is bodies. We have bodies and bodies, and that is not the body of Homo erectus. We have the body of Homo erectus. And it looks a lot more like us than this does. This is primitive in many ways. Uh, this, this chamber really gives us a window of understanding our past, beginning to gain more knowledge about our present moment, and also gives us an insight of what our future could look like. For us to understand how this species lived right here in South Africa, right here on the African continent, is something that is a great, great step for us. And one could echo what was once said, that this could well be a small step for Naledi. <laughs> Naledi took a small step into that chamber, but for us, as the people of the world, this is a gigantic step to understand who we are. These will be on display for a month. Um, we encourage the people of South Africa and the world to see this tre treasure and contemplate their humanity.